The machine is designed so that disc number one and disc number three rotate in a clockwise direction when viewed from above. Disc number two rotates in an anti-clockwise direction. We now come on to setting the disc speeds for the three individual discs, which can be set at different speeds. The disc motors are turned on, and then adjusted accordingly to get the required speed. Each one has a separate control. By adjusting the magnetic intensity, six different products can be separated from the feed material, as can be seen below. The magnetic intensity can be varied by adjusting the height of the disc above the belt. The leading edge is always at a greater gap than the edge at the back, so you have different intensities on the same disc. Slightly lower at the front leading edge and higher at the rear edge. So the intensity can be adjusted by lifting the disc higher or lower. The closer to the coils, the lower the disc, the higher the intensity of the magnet. The intensity of the magnets can be adjusted further by the control panel by simply increasing the current to the magnet coils. This is shown on the dial here. So the amp reading will indicate the strength of the magnet. Finally, we need to set the vibratory feeder to actually feed the material onto the belt. Again, this is started with the start button, and the feed rate of the feeder can be adjusted using the variable control. To set the feed of material from the hopper onto the vibratory feeder, this gate can be adjusted to make sure the material has a controlled flow onto the feeder. It is adjusted up and down and secured by the bolts underneath. 